Everybody, welcome back to Medieval 2, and last we left off, we've gone back in time. No, no, we only we traveled through space, not time. Now we've gone through time. All right, Dan, you've come a long way. I'd save if I was you. As I understand it, this fight's going to be difficult. What is that noise? Wait. It's disgusting. You recall good lightning from the first game? It requires your help. Stop screaming. Mercy, Honorable Knight. Spare me. Uh -uh. We've 
bonded. We are Daniel. This will be the weapon of your dreams, Dan. The Gatling gun. Awesome destructive power at the touch of a button. Oh my. Sure, and it does look nice. Oh, you found her then. Good, good. <laughs> I knew she'd come to no harm. Oh my. Uh, ooh, there's no time for this lovey dovey stuff. Uh, things are looking grim. I'm uh, picking up a bizarre signal from. Canadian Spire, where Pi of the One is looking for the final pages of the spell book. Uh, yes, Cathedral Spires. How did you know that? <laughs> come to think of it, where did you get that newfangled armor from? Uh, hmm. Looks to be made of the same material as your shield. Interesting. Should afford you much greater protection. Right, the mission is simple. We have to find that page of the spell book before Palethorn, or else all of London will be his, and we've lost. Hmm, sounds easy enough. Hmm. Our Professor H. Kift, January 10th, 1878. This morning, an unexpected caller presented himself at my door. It was none other than Lord Palethorn. I hadn't seen him since his expulsion from the magic circle the previous month, and quite frankly, I had hoped never to see the fellow again. The embarrassing details of that incident I recount in my journal for 1877. Far from being contrite or ashamed, he seemed rather bullish for a man ostracized for him using his wand. Straight away, he asked me to accompany him on a trip to the north. When I said I would do no such thing, he laughed and began to tell me of the unique opportunity he was offering. Very quickly, he explained he had found the last resting place of certain pages of Zarek's spellbook. He had a map, and this is where I came in. He needed a translator, for despite his outward manner, I fear he was not, he is not possessed of too great an education, and with my knowledge of ancient texts, I was just the man for him. This astounding news confounded me. He left, giving me until dawn to reach a decision. January 11th. I thought long and hard about his proposition, and although I am sure of the man, the chance to find the legendary spell book is too great an allure. I agreed to the proposal. We set forth a week today, traveling to the remote Herbryant, and be remind and be remind Cook to pack ointment. January seventeenth. I find myself in the Bonnie Prince Charlie, a coastal inn in. <clears throat> Some 80 miles west of Ibrines. Tomorrow we set sail for Hybrine. Ibrines. Bleh. The weather forecast is bad, and as I look from my window across the sea, a great foreboding steals up upon me. As, as real as the storm clouds themselves that at this very moment roll in from the east, blotting the stars from the sky. January 7th. January 18th. We have set up camp for the night. It is a relief to be once again on dry land. The journey was bad, as if the ocean itself was trying to bar our progress. For a long while, it was touch and go whether we would be drowned at sea, smashed upon, or smashed upon the rocks themselves. If I weren't a man of science, I would have feared that something was trying to stop us from reaching our journey's end. Still, tomorrow we set out in search of the burial ground shown on the map. I'm sorry, didn't you say that you were part of the magic circle? A man of... No, never mind. January 20th. Now I have the map the right way up. The route is clear to me. We've reached the tomb of the northern point of the island midday tomorrow. We enter, not knowing whether the greatest prize in history awaits us on the other side of its door. March 31st, 1878. Having problems adjusting to my new mechanical hands, we'll recount my story later. April 1st, 1878, and it's fully functional. Indeed, fitting that today is all fool's day, as I begin to recount the final stages of our ill-fated trip, my memories of the time are now thankfully vague, and I have difficulty separating the real from the imaginings of a racked fever or a fever racked brain. We entered the tomb and discovered the spell book, I am sure of that. Whoever sealed the book in the resting place must have meant for it to be in there for all eternity, for no sooner had Pather placed his hands upon it, the room began to collapse. The last thing I remember clearly is Pat 
Palethorn pushing me aside as the great to door began to lower. I scrambled for the exit too late. The door sliding shut, trapping me in darkness. My hands crushed beyond repair. The next two weeks are but a fevered dream. How long I crawled in the darkness, or how I escaped, I do not know. I am reliably informed I was spotted at the water's edge by a local fisherman and transported back to Ebony to recover from my grievous injuries. Now back in London, I fear for the future. I can only wonder what Pale Thorn intends to do with the book. Only one thing is certain. When he does surface again, I will have my revenge. Signed, Professor Hamilton Kift. Looks like I got them all. Well, you seem to know more about this place than I do, so there's no point in briefing you, is there? Pretty sure I missed some life bottles. He gets. within are a number of souls. The cathedral seems to be drawing its demonic power from them. Free them, and we might stand a chance. If you see the spiv, you might want to charge up your super armor. I'm sorry. I have to charge it up? That upsets me. I don't have the money for that. Who are you? Right, fixed and proper again.
I supposed to do? Jesus. I recognize that I'm running out of uh
game. All right, Dan, you've come a long way. I'd save if I was you. I'm sure you would.
well. really gonna make me do this. That forming is not this game's strong suit. with these camera angles. Yes. We're a little caught in here. Hi in the blue 32, this is from, 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 from. 